if she if she's controlled by something else, then it's completely insane. You know what? You're right. It's complete. It's fast. Iceland doesn't know. She does know what he's thinking, but wait, how old is Iceland? Um, Isley appears to be... Isley's in his, uh, Hallow Talks with Oh, we need to figure that out together. <laughs> Damn it. How we, got we do, though. I don't, I don't know. Hawksworth was like... Oh, in, 17, in, six, in 1600, he was 17. So he was... Right? The first time he played him. So, 20 and 1603, he is 30 years old. How old is Godfrey? 30 30 now? Oh my god, I'm 33. You're guessing Isley is either Hawksworth age or or, or Godfrey's age. He's up in his 30s. Oh! I'm going to die soon. You'll be fine. I'm at the end of my road. Alright, anyway, back. Alright, so I wanted to say something. Yeah, yeah, you have about 10 minutes until you're you're supposed to go on. Amongst the cannon fire. They do cannon fire when you enter. During the masquerade, by the way. It's very, very inspiring. Through the entire... My career, look, I have only failed one play, and that was <laughs> Pirates of the Code, which I believed, with the help of Stubbs, and just fill in the fucking name of whatever Hannah's character was, I don't even fucking remember. You, you just gotta figure that out. In a no, moment. I know. But anyways, with the help um, of Stubbs and... Nassingberg! Nassingberg. Nassingberg. They convinced me to throw the play. I was ashamed. I was belittled, and I will never do that again. Regardless of the outcome of this play, I will play Henry VIII to his fullest potential. If you want to throw the fucking play, do it. All right. I will not be a problem. Um, I need you to make sanity check. Sure. You're willing to just to do something terrible to maintain staying in character. Oh, to doing yeah. the play. So yes, I need oh, sanity yeah. check. Did you make it? Yes. You made it? Yes. You lose just one point of sanity. Okay. But you're willing to, if the world ends with you finishing off this play the way it's meant to be, so be it. It's basically what you said, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, not, I'm not doing it again. He's not Hawksworth at the moment, you two don't believe. He's now Henry VIII. I'm Henry VIII. And he's going to be Henry VIII until the play is over. <laughs> I'm also at 69 sanity. You're really sane. What's up? <laughs> You're very sane, but that that conviction is also a little wrecking of your shame. If they had come to me with this knowledge 20 minutes prior to me becoming Henry VIII, that's what's maybe. beautiful about this scenario is that the time. Once they is say, up. ready, ready, I'm Henry VIII. Right. Fuck anything else. All right, all right, all right. So, what do you guys want to do? The what are you guys old, thinking? Wait, old. no, hold on, hold on. I'm going to give you information for free, too. Okay. You do have Godfrey and. and um, Whitewood. Whitewood. You know they came to the show. Okay. You could potentially. Try to get contact them. You could even possibly get them backstage. It'll cost you two or three minutes of the play's time. Okay. You don't have any music coming up till the masquerade. You got time? You can make bottom or somebody do your little whatever. It's not like that. So if you want to get them, and st- you could actually you could go from backstage, go up to where you think they're sitting, because you can peek and find out where they are, okay. and bring them down. That's just up to you guys. I'm just saying, if you want some more heads in on this and some more information and some more potential hands... You can say, come with me, take them backstage, and then fill them in on what's happened. I'd say that would take you five minutes. Which um, would still give about five minutes for uh, Hawksworth and just King Henry VIII. We need to get Godfrey and Whitewood yeah. on this. Does Whitewood know about Canada? Probably not. You've heard stories about some weird-ass play uh, where it was really well done. The, all the books were burned afterwards. <laughs> you don't know what the hell the story was about that. Hawksworth was allegedly... Connected with it, he's never been willing to talk to you about it. Whenever you brought it up, he's just like, Even if I "I've got to go, I'm out. out," and he just leave the room, or he'll refuse to say anything, or yeah. uh, drink heavily till he passes out, whatever. I'm not sure what we can do at this point, but we can't. We can't leave them in the dark. Yeah, we have to. We have to talk to them. You've gone off to them. Okay, okay, yeah. I was, I was Unless like, you want to be where you can hear them. No, if, if they were, if they're near me, I'm gonna add, like ask them to just. I'm you can just walk away. You can walk away and find some place to prepare yourself. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing then. So Hawksworth is off. He's somebody else right now. It's a little disturbing. Uh, we've got to get Godfrey and White, Whitewood on this. You think <laughs> you think you can uh, go up front and get them? Yes. yes. All right. Okay. All right. You go out the back door. You come in the front door. They everybody knows you. 
Um, you two are in your seat. You're sitting together, right? I'm sure. And then next to this, you can flip his name over, whatever his name was. Henry Watton. Watton, Sir Watton, Sir Watton, Sir Watton, who's like, oh, dear, that's, that's quite clever. You know, he's enjoying the play. Um, you come up to them, and you can say whatever you want to them. Um, you'll, you'll see him come, and he walks up beside your seats, and go. Um, so they don't know about anything like what's going to happen. They only know what has been told to them since okay, Pat, yesterday. Okay, info dump, I guess? Uh, shh, shh. We're trying to watch the play. People around are shushing you. <laughs> Would you please keep it down? That, that, that's interrupting you constantly. Every time you start to tell them something. Get out of here. All right, I'll get up and like Okay, is Gotham going? All right. Yeah. Okay. You're shushed and you yell at people, and you finally get them out. You guys go outside. And you can go backstage, and you guys can. You, oh, you've been. Well, you've been backstage a few times. It's not a big deal. And then you guys can info dump them. Um, it's five minutes till Henry VIII enters. Uh, Hawksworth is back there somewhere, <laughs> regalizing. Um, Doing some poses. Okay. Voguing, maybe. What do you guys want to do about this? We're, we're going to stop the whole time limit thing here. What do you guys want to do? So the symbols are the spell. Yes. And the symbols are all around the theater. Yes. Is there a way to um, destroy the symbols? As far as I please let us know, there's, there's, there's no way to possibly stop this from happening. There's hundreds of these symbols. Even if we stop two or three, who knows if that would actually... Even if we destroy, manage to destroy some of them, who knows... Who knows if that would actually stop the spell, or if it would just be some sort of malformed version of the spell that could turn out even worse. Mm-hmm. Oh. So you're saying you have to take care of all of them. Oh. The only way I can think of us doing that You is guys found dozens, and Bottom said he knew there were dozens and dozens and dozens. The of only way I could think of doing that is burning this entire place to Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Here comes Unton and Richard Stewart. Oh! They're uh, they're walking out the uh, firing rack for the cannon fire that's supposed to go when uh, when Henry VIII uh, comes on stage. They take it right outside. Uh, they've been told to put it further away from the uh, theater because they don't want to start a fire. They're heading outside, out the back door. Ooh. Oh, my, sorry, 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 sorry. So, oh. you know, the two of them oh, are just it's walking fine. out. They don't want to yeah. What these things are is these things actually fire. <laughs> uh, but it's all smoke and illusion and sound. Can't, can't nudge, nudge. But right outside the theater, wait, wait, it sounds wait. like it's inside the theater. <laughs> the only way I could think of is to burn this entire place to the ground. And if we do that, who that knows how many people lost. would escape? Everything would escape. It will mean the end of our jobs, probably. Eh. But if there were there are plays the before the theater. But if, yeah. But if we do nothing, then. Here you guys go. But if we do nothing, then that means... So you said we're stopping time. That means this entire it. country could fall oh, victim, oh, to shit. victim to some sort of malformed... How is this place lit? Something. It's not. Taking over the our sun. country. Oh. Remember? It's open in the center. Here we go. Open in the center. You guys got tons of sunlight coming in. Here's Hawksworth getting ready to go on the stage. All the sunlight's coming in here. The roof is thatched, by the way. And it's been dry for the last two weeks. Like, bone dry. I get the feeling we're just going to have to burn this whole place to the ground. But I'm not sure if I want to. Oh, that's nice. I like that, Helen. Well done. Thank you. And we're at four minutes and eleven seconds. I mean, it's counting down. The theater can always be rebuilt. The theater can be rebuilt, but the people die? It's not like we can bring them back to life, or, well, I suppose we could, but it would be breaking all of the laws of everything. What do y'all want to do? Well, we don't have much time. Well, you don't know that, but this is for the players more than the characters. That's how Uncle Hawksworth goes out of Sam the Eighth. You guys can see him preening and primping around. Uh, various tired men are checking him out, fixing his costume, blah, blah, blah. So how do we do it? I can walk on stage with my gun. You don't have your gun here. 
It's in your house. It's back at your apartment. Remember? You took it to the one place, but you had no reason to bring it to the theater today. Uh, regardless, if people are people will get pissed. Enthusiastic, or if they're mad, it just idea checks. I'll give you guys idea checks. All right. We're gonna keep the timer running now. Uh, I pass. Oh no. He said anger would be bad. He said inspiration would be good. What happens if it's fear? Well, what happens? You don't know. Oh boy. What do you want to do? Okay, so if people get angry, yeah, that would certainly be bad. If people get scared, then... Can I run on stage and just yell fire? Nobody... You will probably get pelted with rotten fruit, that beer be bottles, beer cans. <laughs> they will tell you to go to hell. Let's, well, you know, let's start the fire first before we start a riot. Come on. Start so, this, they, People love this play. It's going to be hard to stop it. So as you, far as like that goes. So you guys think we should just burn this place to the ground, save whoever we can? We don't have the choice. happening. What do you do? What do you guys get? The how. We need the house. Come on. All right. I'll give you guys another idea check if you want it. Yeah. Well, not you guys, because yeah, you don't understand. But I'll give you guys. You realize. No. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm it. bewildered. Dang it! I failed. Fuck. Right, you can have it, Ashton. What do you think? Cannons. The cannons just pass. They're like right well, there. Actually, let's let's make it more realistic. Yeah. What were those fellas doing with those yeah, weird things that just go. walked by? There what was go. that rack that just went by? Go ahead. <laughs> it's supposed to imitate cannon fire. It's usually oh. not threatening. It just sends the smoke in the air, and makes it sounds like there's real cannon. Yes. Yes. Sorry, it uses gunfire. It, it, it does use gunfire. Gunpowder, sorry. It, it does use gunpowder. So if we were somehow able to get it closer, we could. It's not that it. big. We could set this whole place on fire. If you have the idea, go for it, Ashton. You can yeah. have the idea. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going for those cannon guys. Are you going to okay. tell them or you just run No, I, I'm telling them. Let's go get those cannon guys. We've got to get out of here then. I okay. There's can... a back door where they take the cannons out. Okay. They put them near the globe so it's close enough that you can hear. And, and it makes I'm a going... racket. It makes a wonderful racket. And I'm going to get Bottom. Do I know where he is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find Bottom in like 10 seconds. I'll help you. He's, he's working on something. What? What's the matter? Um... What, what were those two guys' names went out with the cannon? The cannon guys... Edmund um, and Richard. Uh, Unton and Stuart. Unton yes. and Stuart need your help figuring out the cannons. Can you come with me? Um, all right. Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing about cannons. He's talking as you walk. Okay. I don't know. What? Okay. Uh, Unton and Stuart are outside. They're just out back. They've moved the cannons. You've seen where they've placed them before. Usually they put them like right next to the theater. Yeah. It's about 10 or 15 feet away. It's further away from the theater now, so there's no chance of it... Burnt, catching the thatch on top on fire or anything like that. Okay. So. so what are you guys doing? Okay, so I've gotten bottom out of there. Um. What are, what are, how much time do we have left? We don't. Nope. Uh, can that you got less than a minute before they fire off the cannon, uh, on Henry VIII, then there's, you look back, Hawksworth is like, you know, kind of just like, oh, oh yeah, I, I should be ready. And then I can come out the door like, I yeah, go for it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wait till I knock. I'll give you a little top. No, what if okay. I'm done peeing you? Won't we just stay in the bathroom? Uh, you can come out anyway, but it'll be more dramatic if you wait. Okay. What are you guys doing? Run into the camp. They're, they're getting ready with the matches, but uh, yeah, you can walk over there. It's not very far. Um, they're getting ready. You can hear. You can see them. They're listening to the to the to to what's going on on the stage. And you know that um, uh, you don't have much time before Henry VIII enters, and there's a, like all this cannon fire that like announces his entry. Okay. What are you doing? Uh. Who's doing what? You got bottom out there as well. Yeah, I'm helping you get the cannons. Well, yeah. Unton and uh, Unton and Stuart are out there because they're in charge of it. Well, actually, Stuart's gone back in. Unton's alone. He's got a lit match and he's waiting and he's listening for his cue. And it's far enough away from the globe that it should be harmless. It shouldn't cause any problems. Okay. I was gonna say, stop what you're doing. Shh. Um. Unton Hawksworth. Uh. Bottom and I came out here to let you know that Hawksworth has a new command Can for you guys. What? What were you talking about? Um. Oh, sorry. What were you talking about? Hawksworth told me this. Uh, he wants you to uh, put the cannons a little bit closer. Oh, no, no. That's against the rules. Memory's all ugly. Can I punch face. Can I punch someone? Yeah, you can fucking punch him in the <laughs> face if you want. What's your fist? Or a punch, or whatever the hell it is. 45, we got 46. You got 46? Oh my god. You take a swing at him. What? 
what is wrong with you? Is that he, he, he dropped the match. It drops on the ground. He's like, what is, what is wrong with, with you, James? I've got to fire these things. We've only got a few seconds. To... We don't have time. You don't understand what is going on. You don't understand what is at stake here. D- yeah, we're going to ruin the play. The explosions are great. It's more He's than trying just to get the play. The <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, he's trying to get the match that's on the ground. It's still burning. Um, right now, the um, the rig is just sitting there. Um, he's rushed Unton off. Unton is trying to get to the match, but he's blocking him. What do you three want to do? Bottom looks I'm, confused. I'm you haven't explained him what's going on. Yeah, you can grab the rig. Uh, where are you taking it? Right yeah, you just drag it over. So, according to your calculations, it'll lay him right up into the thatch if you want. Okay. Wait. Who the hell is he? He's yelling at you. Who are you? Um, what do you want to do, Kyle? What do you want to do? Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, yeah. Put a ball out some money and bribe them. <laughs> chink, chink, chink. What do you want to bribe him to do? Just take a break. Go, go to a pub nearby. Uh, really? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there you go. Wait, hey, a big uh, bag of money. Sure. Right? Okay. That jingles, like, maybe like five or ten pounds. Like a good you chunk. You saw none of this. Go to a pub. <laughs> he just walks away. You sure. moved the thing. Hold on one second. It's almost time. Uh, it's in position. The match is lit on the floor. You you guys know how it works. You just light up all three of these, uh, three or four of these little things, and then in a couple seconds they'll go off. Henry VIII, you're waiting for your 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 big cannon fire. Hold on. It's late. Uh, there's a little bit of talk on the stage. Like, oh, I'm sure Henry VIII will be here soon. Anyway, um, what are you guys doing? Who's who's doing what? Hold on. Light these now. Well, all right, Robbie. Bobby gets to be the hero. <laughs> <laughs> he likes all three. They're not going up. Boom! I kept in there. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the crowd was wild. <laughs> you do your lines. You say your stuff. The explosions were great. Um, they went off. Um, wait, did anything happen? You're looking up. Nothing apparently happened. Now, wait, wait, okay, everybody's going to do an idea check. Everybody who's standing here do an idea check. You're too busy on stage. Oh, and I'm Henry VIII. Blah, 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 blah. I have no idea. I'm Henry VIII. No idea? Anybody? Did anybody make an idea check? Four! I did it! Uh, you won't, if, 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 if they fired into the thatch, it could be a while while it smolders. You might have to just hope for the best and wait it out. And then if nothing happens, uh, fucking get torches and just start lighting the fucking place on fire. I'm People get, will notice this I'm happening, and you guys will probably get in trouble. Oh, there's tons of burnable material backstage. Oh, um, are you lighting torches? You're just getting them ready in case they're necessary. Same. You guys know that there's a no flame policy right now because of how dry it's been, and you can relate that to Dr. Whitewood. Um, she appears to be looking for flammables. Or he appears. Sorry, sorry, he appears to be looking for flammables. But um, has not yet actually made any kind of fire. Bottom's left. He's gone back inside to do his other work. He's like, oh, fuck, if you're doing that, that's all fun. That's great. And then he, he goes <laughs> in. He doesn't know what's going on. Nobody's explained anything to Bottom. Um, okay, I'm going to go back go back in really quickly. Um, tell and um, I'm going to tell Bottom about the spell and what it's going to do. Bring back Queen Elizabeth. But those those things, they could be something else. Like know. the devil. I know. That's why we're trying to stop it. How do we stop it? That's... We were trying to... We were spot trying hands. to... I'll give you guys spot hands. Well, you trying to, oh, you explained him you're trying to like light up the theater on fire. Uh, I oh. failed. Oh, that'd be awful. Anybody make it? You? Okay. You just noticed that. You've gone you had to go back on stage, you're you're part of the masquerade, you're playing, you're like. But it's real it's not enough anybody in the audience has even noticed it yet. Okay, alright, so how do we destroy the theater? I mean I've got we can get some slides for this? Oh, uh, doesn't seem like it'd be very effective. We were trying to Oh. Which Wait, means? how? Wait. He's very confused. Bottom's not terribly smart. Bottom, <laughs> Bottom, before I explain all this, let's just get out of here. Wait, no, I've got to move this set piece, and then I've got to help King Henry VIII change in Act 3, and then I've got to help, um, I've got, I've got to help, he starts going to all the shit, that, all the work he's supposed to be doing. Bottom. Um, she's out on stage playing, you guys are still backstage. You've gathered 
Stuff you could, uh, in a fairly quick manner, light on fire if need be. Bottom, we put the cannons pretty close. We put the cannons really close to the feeder. There's a chance that there's a chance <gasps> that by using them we might set the roof on fire. Oh, I get it. Did it work? I don't know. I don't know. I th- I'm thinking we need to go out and check. I, I know. How do we go? Okay, I'll go check. I'll go check. He runs outside to go look. Uh, all right. He I'll runs back in. I don't see any smoke. I don't see any fire. Um. Burr, 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 burr. Uh. Act one, scene four. Henry VIII is there. Big speech. I'm a great guy. I'm so awesome. Okay. You were traitors. We're gonna kill okay. you. Okay. It's all about Henry VIII wins. Everybody else loses. He has a baby at the end. Okay. Um. By act three. By act three. All of you have noticed now. There's like this haze in the the globe, okay? A lot of people are smoking tobacco, this yeah. awesome new stuff from America. Okay. Um, so most people were thinking it was that uh, until, um, uh, yeah, the fact like bursts into flames in several places all the way around. You notice this too, Hawksworth. You're in a speech and you're like, oh my God, the entire top of the globe theater is on fire. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you stand there in a daze? I continue. He, he continues his speeches. Uh, other actors are running. Uh, the, the audience panics. There's no firefighters in this day and age. There is no way to stop a fire whatsoever. Fire is dead. Uh, oh. The audience is panicking, freaking out. Fire starts floating down. Okay, Air breezes just, are starting to blow like thatch down. I am just going to grab Bottom and get the heck out of okay. here. Bottom's like, wait, wait, we've got... Wait, 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 wait. He's, like, trying to help get other actors out because the actors freak and they leave, too. All the people are fleeing out the exits. Um, you see one man's... Some fire comes down. One man's breeches catch on fire. And he's like... Ah, 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 and he dumps his beer on it. And he's like... Oh, 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 and he runs out. Um, you spot up in your seats next to your seat. Uh, Lord, Lord... Sir Watton. Sir Watton is like... Oh, yes! And, and he's running out. Um, everybody is just fleeing. There's a great deal of screaming and terror. Hawksworth is on the stage... Doing a soliloquy, uh, and and apparently oblivious to everything that's going on. Not downstage center, upstage left, the most powerful place on stage, where um, he's supposed to be speaking of England and 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 all this other stuff. Um, uh, people are fleeing out all the sides. Actors are fleeing. Stagehands are fleeing. Uh, bottom is trying to help people leave. You know, trying to help get actors yeah. out. I'm running uh, the there's a couple places where fire has come down and started to light down below. And bottom is like, ah, 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 just like instinctually trying to put out the fires that are down there. You run out to Hawksworth. Hawksworth, um, a, a man in strange clothing runs up to you. Make another sanity check. Wait, who runs off to Hawksworth? Godfrey, okay. Doctor Whitewood. Uh, Hawksworth's in the zone at the moment. I, and I make it. I straight up. Oh, you make it. You recognize Dr. Whitewood, your friend, Dr. Whitewood, wearing clothing like normal people wear um, from Six the 17th century. Yeah. How do you, how, what, you, there's a lot of fire up, uh, the globe is on fire. How, how do you react? What do you do? You made the sanity check, keep that in mind. Am I in the middle of the soliloquy? Uh, towards the end. I finished the soliloquy. Mm. Hawksworth continues to say his, apparently, I'm going to rip off his cape. Oh, damn. Oh, check Mark Ashton. That's very nicely done. He's, she, he rips off your cape and your hat. Okay, at this point, I have left the theater. I you run out. Okay. You're I'm heading out the theater. Fine. Am I almost done? Mm-hmm. You can, uh, two lines left. Finish. He continues to say the, the end of his speech, and then what, do you do? then what happens? What do you do? How do you react? I'm done. And he and says, then, I'm done. No, 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 I don't say I'm done. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just, I'm, like, I'm done with my soliloquy, and I stand there. You just still don't move? Yeah. Whitewood, what do you do? I'm not talking He's just, what are you doing staying there? Are you, like, staring? You have the thousand yard like stare? Waiting, it's like waiting for the next part of the Have you left the building the at this point? Oh, you're I was in shock for a while, just looking at the place burning down. Mm. He's kind of looking like, about impatiently? Uh, I Someone has missed a line. Staring. What do you do? I'm pulling at him. Okay. Someone is pulling at you. Maybe it's a prompter. I, I like I like whisper. What is it? What are you doing? 
Oh shit, it's on Ashton's choices yeah. then. <laughs> Poor Ashton has to make these choices. No. Come on, Ashton. Improvise. You've got the hard part right now. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Can you say Hawksworth? I gotta say Hawksworth. What are you gonna do? Um, did, did I miss a lot? What do you say? Is I guess what I should say. Or. <laughs> drag his ass, unconscious ass out. I'm about to. What do you do? Stick what do you say? Bunch. What do you say? I'm gonna stick a bunch of leash. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you do not have a medical kit like that. You would not have brought that to the theater. Oh, the uh, I'm gonna slap him. Damn. Okay. In the Hard slap to the face. I repeat the last line of my sleeping Ah, okay. Do I know? Do I know the next line? <sighs> have you? St- I'll give, have you seen Henry VIII before? Okay, you came before, you really liked it. That's why you're, you're here again. Hawksworth is really good. I will give you an idea check. See if you can just pull out of your ass the last line, the next line of the play. Yes. You know the next line, but it doesn't have him leaving the stage anytime soon. Oh. What do you do? Okay, and, okay, you can think about that for a second. Helen is running towards the back exit. What are you doing? No, you're already out of the building. Yeah, I don't no, know. she's what. running towards it. She'll 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 get there. What do you want to do? I was in shock for a few seconds. Mm-hmm. Um and then I just haul ass. Um, You're heading for the back door. Yeah, I, I really Godfrey. Like, do I see the struggle kind of happening? Yeah, both you and Helen would notice it that Henry VIII is in co- full well, I'm mostly blessed. costume on the on the stage. Um he and Dr. White would appear to be having some kind of quiet conversation amongst themselves. I don't see anything, I just bust it out like no, you saw it. You see this. Right, right, right. I don't, I don't okay, you don't have to do whatever you want. Helen, well, you notice this too. Godfrey, you've been, you've been backstage too. You were probably helping Dr. Whitewood get together whatever kind of flambles you could so that she, uh, so that he could light, like, torches up and maybe just light the fucking place on fire on its own. Oh, what's on this place? Is <laughs> on. Okay, you saw Whitewood run to get Hawksworth. Um, so, you know. He's got it. Okay, and I, I, you're heading to the exit well. At this point, I've gone into self-preservation mode. I am just out That's <laughs> fine. No, that's fine. That's totally fine. Whitewood, you're, you're, Same. what do you want to do, Whitewood? Hawksworth repeats the last line. Wait, no, you said the next line. Okay. Hawksworth goes on. Oh, no, you who know said, the next who's, line. Who's you know the, the next who's line. Who says the next line? Uh, Woolsey. Uh, I don't know. Does I, he leave There's him? another character that says the next line. There's several more lines before the king speaks again. Yeah, but then, does the actor that speaks next says he leaves in? Uh, make me luck check. Is in a, if you if you succeed, it's if you want him to, then yes. How about that? I don't know the play back Yeah, I succeed. So yes, your next actor, if you want him to leave after that line, the actor leaves. Henry VIII's got a little bit more time on stage. Your From line, the, your line is this. I uh, say the next line. Oh, you're being prompted. I see. Um, uh, make me a sanity check. Made. You did make it? Yeah. That's not your line. Wait. Something's wrong. Something's not right here. I Somebody's see. prompting you with the wrong line. I say it because I'm prompting. You're, oh, you say the next line. Alright, you're supposed to leave uh, after you say this line if you're playing that part. Okay. You're supposed to exit. I say it and I exit what whatever side it tells me to exit. Uh you'll be heading straight back. Yep. Straight I'll back to back. Okay, he's moving. As you guys are about to get back, you take one last look at the the burning <laughs> fucking theater behind you. Someone's standing out in the center of the stage. Yeah, and it appears to be um uh let's see, it is uh you see lights and sparks kind of form towards the center and there's a woman there. She appears to be oh, naked. Uh, and then from stage right, you see Isley come running in. Like, fucking sprints in. Um, rushes to her yelling, Queen Elizabeth! Queen Elizabeth! Um, Hawksworth, you have a choice. They can totally break you out of the spell. The, of the zone you're in, if you want. What, Up to you. What, all this? Isley running on... Time? Isley's a fucking stage change. He's running on stage screaming, Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. There's a naked woman with her back to you on the stage. I mean, a naked woman. Like, come on. Did you just say naked woman? <laughs> 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 Apparently, right. yes. So, there's just a woman standing there, arms at her side, back to you, facing the like, direct center of the stage. Um, you heard the yelling, and that's why you looked back. And you looked back, and Isley came running on stage. Do you want to do anything about that? 
this pretty much will break the spell of you're in a show. Something's gone horribly wrong, and you realize there's smoke all around you, there's fire all around you. I'm, I'm going to say that if I'm on stage, then I am whoever I'm supposed to be. You're playing. exiting stage. Yes, exactly. You're about to step backstage. Which is what I'm saying. Since I'm exiting stage, I'm Hawksworth. Okay, fair and enough. If I'm on stage, I am who I am. That's fine. Okay. Supposed to be. So you're exiting, and you see Isley so on the screen. So I'm and Hawksworth right now. Sure. And I notice that somebody's naked on stage. Yep, back to you. Whatever the fuck. And the a stage and, and the, and the entire globe appears to be on fire up, yeah. around you. That's not and, right. Um, That's um, not right at all. Dr. Um, Whitewood has basically got you by one arm and is kind of like right escorting him off the stage. What do you do? What do you say? Anything? What the hell is going on? Uh, the woman turns around, buck naked, eyes closed. He, uh, you see Isley reach her and kneels before her. Your Majesty, I brought you back to save England. You're but you're in danger. You must come with me. And holds out one hand. Um, and it's Queen Elizabeth. You recognize this woman as, as a younger version of Queen Elizabeth. So do you, Hawksworth. Holy um, shit. Sanity check? Um, uh, in a moment, because when her eyes open, they are merely black pits of infinity. She opens her mouth with an inhuman alien scream, and four tentacles burst out of her abdomen ah! and belly. Now yeah, you can make Sandy Oh, oh <laughs> Wait, you two sees this? You guys already ran out, so did Godfrey. You made it. All right, so, uh, Whitewood. One. Hawksworth. Oh, come on. I have only ever lost two. You. you failed it. Six Sanity. Hey, boy. Make an idea check. <laughs> hey, boy. Wait, is he gonna get like? Wait, that's six. We don't know. <laughs> he took five. He has to make an idea check. You want to fail this check? No, I don't. Okay, you can go crazy if you want. Uh, <laughs> it's that kind of a weird noise comes out of her mouth. I made it. You made the idea check. Yes. Swing a bata. Damn it. <laughs> the bow. It's the same one I've used like 12 times. Let's try again. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to let you decide as a player. I suck her right now. Well, eating was the first one that I rolled. I didn't like it. First or the second? Oh, man. <laughs> I know which one I want to do. You're, it, as a player, I'm going to let you decide. Oh, I guess you want to see can I know how long it's going to last first? No. No? Usually it's less than a minute. A minute or so. Ah! 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 It just starts screaming. Ah! Okay. She's Wild screaming. Ah! 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 I'm still pulling on uh, him. You're still pulling on him. The thing, the thing attacks Isley. Um, who but apparently... Is your, Isley seems quite surprised at this turn of events. <laughs> what? I was like, I'm not hearing <laughs> that. Hawksworth is shrieking, <laughs> just staring at this thing. Um, where's the thing that would be queen? Here she is. If you queen, could you be Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of the tentacles connects with... Uh, two of the tentacles grab Isley. Uh, he is screaming in terror. Um, um, let's see. Let me actually have to do that. Um, Okay, he is screaming to her and trying to fight back. Whitewood, don't look at him, look at me. He's not there. Whitewood. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Hawksworth is screaming. Isley is screaming. I'm still pulling The thing is trying to kill. It looks like this thing is trying to kill I don't to care about Isley. that thing. I'm getting oh, out of here. That's fine. You don't have to care. Um, <laughs> how is it starting? 18. No, oh, God. 95. Hawksworth, you're screaming, but you can still do things if you so desire. What? I have to scream, but I can do whatever I want. Yeah, you're like, ah, ah, ah. Um, two tentacles of the four have grabbed Isley and appear to be pulling it towards this queen, this thing, whatever she is. Fuck oh, this shit, we're out of here. Okay, <laughs> we're out of here. Uh, I was going to say, if you scared of a little kid trying to kill <laughs> them, not just tentacles. Okay, so well, he's <laughs> screaming, he's we'll screaming. Oh, that's bad. Um, tentacles? Hey. <laughs> what you guys see is he, as you're dragging him out, Hawksworth can't take his eyes off this mess, is that the tentacles grab him, and then the, the queen thing opens up from her from her chin to her crotch, like this. 
Uh, and just like pulls Isley uh, in. Uh, I need any checks from both of you guys for uh, seeing this terrible uh, event. Man, and then the ball like, closes again, <laughs> and Isley is just fucking gone. You know, I'm it. really glad we left before all of this happened. Oh, yes, just like we want to fail. I good can't job. Good you job, Prince. You want to fail the Sandy yeah, Good job. Ashton, three points of Sandy for this horror. How many? What? Oh, wait. Like, you want to roll less than your sanity? No, that's a hundred. Zero, zero, zero? Yeah. No. Oh. You can't critical fail a sanity check. You just oh, failed it. Okay. Hawksworth loses three more sanity. Easy peasy. Watching this thing eat. Easy, yeah. um, as you're rushing towards the exit, watching back, Hawksworth shrieking and shrieking and shrieking until his voice is raw. Um, oh, I'm raw, baby. The, uh, <laughs> the, um, the thing kind of starts to move your way. But it sees the fire, and it's backing away. The tentacles are flailing madly about it uh, as you guys rush out of the theater, which is fully engulfed in flames. Um, Hawksworth stops screaming after maybe 40 or 50 seconds. <laughs> Imbalance of the humors. <laughs> what? Imbalance of the humors. <laughs> Imbalance of the humors, indeed. Now you can uh, probably just... Yeah, right. One of the people that you <laughs> see outside is Sir Henry Watton. He made it out as well. People are just watching fire. People are selling food and drinks while the fire is burning away. Um, we lost the play entertainment, but we get to watch the fire. We get to watch the fire. <laughs> um, hey. The globe burns to the ground. The it is completely and yes. utterly destroyed. It is just gone after several hours of flame. Um, there's no real inquiry into the ordeal. Uh, the next week the rubble sorted through in the hopes of finding anything that could be recovered. Nothing can. No bodies, no bones of any kind are found. They assume nobody died in the fire. Um, <laughs> well, there's nothing there to, you know. Um, yeah, you guys did, didn't see... We didn't really look that hard. You guys didn't see the Queen Elizabeth thing is die. Did it escape? Did it burn up in the fire? You don't know. I'm hoping you're burned up in the I'm not Plans sure. are made gun almost immediately to rebuild the globe. Uh, this time with a slap roof. No thatch. By 1614, the building is rebuilt bigger and better than before. Hooray. Um, oh, finally. One year later. One year later. Fancy Bottom is part of those who help rebuild the globe theater. However, over the next that year, Clancy seen less and less of an evening, sometimes for a few days at a time. He grows more and more troubled by what has happened at the Globe and dissatisfied with his life. In the fall of 1614, after the Globe has been rebuilt and plays have been resumed, Mrs. Bottom comes again to the investigators to find her missing husband, who's been gone for more than a week now. Oh, boy. She confesses the man has left a note, saying he's gone away to a better, better life and a chest filled with ancient... Roman coins, jewelry, and other treasures she didn't know he had. More than enough to see her and her children to a happy life. But she wants to know what happened to him. She hands over the note to your group. All right. Uh, handwritten in a rough hand. Handwritten. Um, she said she was supposed to give it over to whomever helped find Clancy the first time and helped him at the globe. She doesn't understand at all. After you want to read it out loud? My dearest friend, I cannot but hope this finds you well after our adventure last year and the terrors of it all. I feel I need better know what the world is really all about. I go to join those who you first found me with in that churchyard. They have promised me something different, and I find myself quite tempted by it, and by the taste that was forced upon me by the terrible Lord L. I have left Agnes... With all she'll need to have a good life, thanks to these new friends. They promise to show me wonders like I've never seen before, and I fear I must go. Don't grieve for me. I'll grieve for you, as I'm sure I will outlive you perhaps forever. Clancy Bottom. Damn. He's a cool now. Oh, and Agnes okay. is rich. She has a ton of money. <laughs> uh, sure she needs a new husband. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Hey, baby. And thus ends the adventure. All right. All right, you didn't do that. You didn't do that. Finding Clancy Bottom gets each of you a D4 of sanity. You can make the rolls yourself. Oh, sweet. Destroying the Elizabeth thing, you assume. We'll give you another D10. That's it. That's what you get for sanity. So D4 and a D10. Why can't you go over Max. No, yes, you can. You can go over Max. Oh, wait. Gain sanity D10 during scenarios what? can go a D10 for, uh, yeah, for um, slaying the Elizabeth thing. You think it's dead. Oh, okay. From what? Zero, one, right? a 10. Yes. Uh, hey, boy. 
So you think that the Elizabeth thing was slain in the fire. You saved Clancy Bottom. Uh, you guys didn't destroy the Loddingtons. And you didn't save Isley. So there you go. Yeah, hey, my family is a good thing. So, questions, comments, suggestions, what do you guys think? Oh, that great. was really good. I, I knew the globe burned in the 1613. Was there? You looked it up. Yes, I, the globe did burn in real life in 1613. Yeah. Performance of Henry VIII. I thought it I, did, but I didn't want to say anything. So yeah. I, I put that in. I wanted to use that. That's why it took place 10 years later. Uh, what would you think? There you go, what, um, was there a way yeah. that uh, Queen Elizabeth could not have manifested? No. Um, uh, Isley had set the spell into motion uh, as soon as the play Henry VIII started. So it was doomed. It was going to happen. Okay. It, uh, you guys could have potentially found another way. You could have let her manifest and then tried to kill her. Um, the globe did burn to the ground in 1613, and so I was incorporating that into it as the easiest way and the only way, really, to destroy all the singles at once. Um, she still managed to manifest, but overcome a fear for the fire. Which helped you guys because she couldn't escape because there's fire all around her. Um, you could have saved Isley. Nah. I don't know. Isley didn't strike you as like crazy cultist. He was trying to save England. Even Hawksworth was like, yeah. if he's going to bring in Elizabeth back, this is going to be a good thing. Yeah. And you guys just left and, him to die. And that's I fine. Mean, that's a choice. Maybe that you if made. we had other people, but. Everybody fled. That's fine. I'm not saying there's a bad choice. I'm just saying you, you could have like, saved Isley. I didn't really have time to like. Just, like once the fire really got going, you guys took off. Yeah, we did. You left. Whitewood was alone. So, and yeah. if only God could have saved with his bullet guns. No. <laughs> anyway, um, any other comments? What would you guys think? Um, I say Foxworth. I, I really like yeah. it. Anything that you especially liked? Any in really, really neat things that happen. I know, I remember Ashton did something that I was just like, oh, and I loved. I can't remember what it is now. You took off the cape and the... Oh, yeah. You took off the cape and I tried to strip him of his of his persona of, as and King Henry VIII. And then I promptly the wrong line. I like the stripping off the hat and the cape better. Uh, Helen was working her way through what exactly had to be oh, done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Um, when you figured out the fire thing, um, I wanted you to have a little clue as to how it could be done very effectively. Yeah. Uh, any, Hawksworth, I liked how you were King Henry VIII. You were your character. All right, so what happens to James in the next after the globe is rebuilt? Does James go back to being a, a musician, playing the violin? Is he scarred or marked by the terrible events that, and weird things that he's seen? He could be my private musician. He hasn't, you haven't taken much sanity loss, so it's up to you. How, what happens to your character after this? Well, actually, I gained, yeah, I gained a lot of sanity. Yeah. What happens to your character after this? Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be the rest of his life, but it could be the next year or so after the globe is built. Um, all my life, I've kind of been a person that just wanted to shy away from people, but because of this incident, I've realized um, that you know people are willing to help and people are willing to look after each other. and that kind of inspires me. Um, and I am Milo's great 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 grandfather, whatever. So. Um, <laughs> okay, so what changes in your life? Do you go back for Ellen Loddington? Do you maybe think about hooking up with Agnes Bottom, who's now rich and a widow, or at least her husband's probably never coming back? I don't know. Those are possibilities. Or just. Who is the mother? We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's up in there. So. You don't want to. So you don't pursue that in, in the immediate future. Correct? Not, any, any of that stuff. not in the immediate future, but I have like a, a better like like cope with humanity. Okay. What I did. So. Fair enough. Helen, how does Huddleston? How does this affect him? Um, you didn't see Queen Elizabeth, did you? Okay. Ran out so fast. Neither. <laughs> okay, so okay, so I didn't see anything. Um. I feel like Bottom was probably my best friend at the theater. Okay. So after he left, I really, I really didn't see much point in staying. Okay. And Fair staying at that point, I had a fair amount of money saved up because I basically just saved my money by really not. You didn't. You didn't make it. Okay. Uh, Working in the theater, yeah. you can't really save any money. Um. So. So after, so after everything is over and the mm-hmm. globe is revealed, bottom leaves, I decide, 
I decide to try. I decide that I'm done being a stagehand. Okay. And I leave and I decide to go to America and attempt oh. to make a life for myself there. Off to Jamestown. Yeah, I go to Jamestown. With the Puritans. Lucky, lucky you. Hey, it's a start. Yeah. So you decide on uh, the next the next boat to yeah. America in 16, 14, yeah, 16, 15. Yeah, I decide that I'd yeah. probably find a better life for a myself there than uh, I would in England. Yeah, I, I like that. So you're off to America. Hawksworth. Yeah. What does Hawksworth do after this? You saw that thing on the stage. You saw it eat Isley with one bite. My God, stay an actor, man. Stay an actor? Oh, my God. Okay. Man. Hawksworth stays an actor. Uh, Godfrey. Back to banking. Just back to banking. Nothing. No. Okay. Fair enough. This does well. Okay, yeah. Whitewood has seen some terrible things. Any effect on him? Doesn't like seafood. Doesn't like seafood? Okay, fair enough. Alright, so three unchanged, three, two profoundly moved and changed. Um, Helen? Yeah, okay, yeah, you went to America. Yeah. Alright, so that's where we'll wrap up. And there we go. We're done. All right. Hooray. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. That was fun.